Bonjour no YouTube, it's Trevor here, Summit or Nothing, out today uh, in the Brecon Beacons. I've come to the Black Mountains. I plotted a route last year that me and Nath was going to do, and we never quite got round to it. So I'm here today. But the, the walk was supposed to start at a little village called Lalamphony, with two L's, and then Anthony. I've bound to pronounce that wrong, so I do apologise to all of my Welsh viewers. Yeah, I was going to start there and then sort of head north up onto the Offa's Dyke path where we was going to walk up on the ridge line of the mountains and then back around until we came back down to the highest point of the walk which was going to be Waun, W-A-U-N, there's another word there but I've scribbled over it. However, we are quite a way off of the car park. You sort of trust in Satnav, don't you? And I put in Lalamphony, where the Satnav has brought me to this car park in the middle of this, this woods here. Whereas we wanted to be over here. So I'm not entirely sure how to get back over there. It's quite late in the day and I just want to start. So I'm going to reorganise my walk from this point. And I think to cut over to the offers dyke walk and sort of take it from there okay so we'll miss out the sort of first few high spots along and uh, hopefully we'll be able to crack on over to there shortly yeah so looking at the map couple e fin seems about right where we're heading to sort of cut back up onto the offers dyke path Okay, right, okay, right, we've broken out of the woods, so exactly where I intended to be on the map. So I had planned a route on Outdoor Active, sent it through to my Garmin, obviously we're not on it, so I have got map and compass, I am relying on my map reading skills for a bit here, so it's a good practice. Um, so yeah, now we need to follow this fence up until the end, and then we should meet a path then that will lead us sort of over towards the little village of Capelfin. Let's carry on. Actually, there does seem to be a pretty decent footpath across the field that's going to meet us at the same point. So here we are. Yeah, look, look at these views out here. There's the Black Mountains, one side of them. So we'll be walking up along that ridge line later. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, so we're up now on the first ridge, which is this ridge here. So I think we stood roughly there. We've got to get over onto that ridge there, the big ridge at the back. And then we've got to follow it all the way around here. Over to there, that's our highest point. First of all, we've got to find our way down. It looks like a track there and then up the other side that looks quite the climb doesn't it i thought this was a tough climb all right see where we're going so looking at that map that's it's not a path up the middle of that that's a boundary line that i've been looking at um i really am out of practice with the map reading so I'm not sure if there is a path leading up there. There does look to be scratchings up there. There does seem to be some, you know. It probably isn't impossible to get up there. But look how steep it is. That is some climb. 
but what we could do if we don't go up there we could go up this middle mound here and then that takes us over to don't laugh Lord Hereford's knob true I'm a bit annoyed I've just knocked the windshield a bit of foam off of my camera here so if the wind picks up I have no cameras at the moment with a windshield I'm still on the lookout for a decent camcorder and in case you're wondering I am carrying 15 kilos on my back today I've packed for an overnighter but I'd like to get as far around as possible before the morning because tomorrow it's going to be wet and probably misty as well so I could do with getting up onto this ridge fairly soon we're further into the day than I wanted to be by this point and we're not even on track yet Look at this valley. Absolutely gorgeous. So I don't think we want to go down there. Looks a bit steep. So we'll just follow the track around. There must be a way down there somewhere. There's still quite some height up in the air. When you look down you can see like the little tractors down there and that. They look even smaller than toys. It's quite a lot further than we'd hoped onto our route. Fucked up, didn't I? Well, looking up at this now, I think I am just going to go over this middle mound. I could lose a lot of the day getting up up there. And I don't want to leave too much distance to mower in the rain. But yeah, I've got that route plotted. So I will come back and do it in its entirety from the correct starting place another day. But for now, we're going to go up what they call Darren Lewid. Lewid. I know it's not. Darren Hwid. Hwid. Don't. Don't. I need to come back out with Joss. He knew how to pronounce everything. Right, we've made it now down to Kapol Ifen and um, now I've got to try and work out how to get up that. Looks ominous. They certainly do look ominous around us here. So I'll have a quick look on the map and see where we're going. Right, so in behind this gate is the monastery that we looked down on a minute ago. So if I look at the map, so there's the monastery. So we've come down here, so we're on this road, we're just at this bit of water here. Looks like we want to follow this road down here, just a little way. We want to turn right, go up just past the phone box and then there should be a path to get up onto that hill there. Should we take in the monastery while we're here? Why not? There it is, through the trees. I think we can get around there. Let's have a look. I 
Okay. This is a monastery. Okay, so there's the phone box. So a little way up here should be a path off to the left, up over that hill, which I must say looks very daunting from here. Found it. Here we go. Up over here. Now, we're right down the bottom again. So we got a big climb. I've seen a lady who's given me a hand, told me what path to take. Oh, so she said it's called the zigzag route. Sounds wonderful. Look at this. Look at that for the view. Beautiful, isn't it? These valleys, the Brecon Beacons, has these amazing valleys all carved out. You just can't believe the size when you're here. Anyway, I'm still not quite up level with the top of those surrounding mountains, so we've still got some more climbing to do. to get back on. Right, we're up top now. That's where I've come from. Over there. On the top of that hill. I've been walking for a fair old time. Very slow pace today. First mountain of the year. Glad to be up the top now. Leveling off a bit. Hopefully I'll get some pace up. So I've got to get all the way around to there. It's a fair old way I should think. absolutely stunning down there but it seems like it's not gonna be great deal of changing views for a little while as I walk up here just a hard slog oh this is thankless this is like parts of the moor when you when I walk on Dartmoor and it's like the boring bits 
It's a bit like that, there's nothing to look at. Just doing miles for the sake of it. So I'm beginning to think I'm glad I chose the shorter route after all, because I am struggling. And I'm looking around at all that I've got to walk and I'm thinking, I'm gonna be walking for hours. I'll be about ready to collapse at the end of the day. There we go, that mound ahead of us now is Lord Hereford's Knob. Honest, we'll be there in a minute. See the views from there. Well, temperature's dropped now. We're walking, looking out among these views. Sexual, isn't it? Lots of these uh, sort of ledges, isn't there? Uh, Wrecking beacons sticking out of the side, but it does seem to be a lot of sort of just grassy moorland up on the top of these hills. But once you're on the edge, looking out, it's beautiful. I tell you what, though, I am not having a good day. I can't be comfortable. I've got a pair of pants that just keep wanting to fall down. My t-shirt keeps untucking. I've got me mapping out, flapping about. It's one of them days where I'm just feeling really agitated. Yeah, I'm not enjoying this. I was late out the door to start with, then ended up in the wrong car park. It's just all set me off on the wrong foot today. Big breaths, Trev. Breathing. struggling to get up the bloody hills. It's, it's too windy up here for the majority of it to film, but there's not a lot to look at anyway. It's just like grassy mooring. I think I've had enough. I'm a bit frustrated today. I've been uncomfortable. So, at this trip point, I can head back down the track that I started on this morning because that over there is my end destination up there I don't know if I've got it in me to walk around that and uh, do you know what I can't even be bothered to do a camp so I've bottled it I've failed I've failed you YouTube I think I'm just going to go on Right, that's the first ridge that I climbed up this morning, if you remember. And then these trees down here, that's where we got to go. So we're just parked in there. It doesn't look too far. And I'm sorry I've let you down, but, you know. Some days the bar eats you, doesn't it? Well, I'm still trudging along that same stretch. It's, um... It must be about three miles long. The mound ahead is still ahead. Doesn't seem to be getting any smaller. I've done about 11 miles at the moment. And uh, I am shattered. I've even jarred my knee a minute ago. And uh, it's not painful, but it's twinging. So I just want to stop. Oh. I 
thought these stones was where I left the path earlier, but they're not. They're still not. It's further up there. Oh, that was a long old walk across there. No, this is where I'm left. The path goes down there. I can see it now. I couldn't see it a minute ago. So yeah, I walk down there and then down to the little village and then up over that and then along here. Doesn't look like much, but well, what are we on now? Yeah, 12 miles to this point. So probably 13, 14 maybe back at the car. Well, here now, look, back at the gate by all this. It's where I first stepped out from the woods, from the forestry. So I'm going to call it a day here. Sorry again for not doing a camp. Just, you know what I mean? So that's twice we come to the Black Mountains, even though I don't think it was the Black Mountains, I don't think it was these last time we come to with Nafe, but we was going to do a camp then and we didn't. And then I've come today and I haven't done a camp again. But anyway, I will do a camp at some point soon. Um, got Patreon walks and charity walks coming up next. Um, and then, yeah, what next after that? Who knows? Into the summer then. See you all soon. Cheese.